Hello, Richard Mortimer here and today I'd like to talk to you about your linking structure. So what we're talking about is how you will build links to your website, how best to do it, how most economically to do it, how are you going to structure them. Maybe if you don't quite understand what I'm talking about here, um, then just hold on and don't worry because it'll all become very clear. What we're talking about here is getting your website to rank in the search engines. This is always something worth approaching and worth optimizing for, hence search engine optimization. Because when you can get your site to be listed in the search engines, you're going to get free traffic. And as you'll see from the way I'm going to teach you in this short recording, that it's beneficial to get some page one listings for your website. This is something worth going after. What you can do is go for some low hanging fruit, in other words, some long tail keywords. And um, I'll tell you how to do that as well. What that'll do is that will get your site exposed and get activity coming to it. And this is something that Google is now looking for. Uh, of course, when I talk about the search engines, I will normally refer to Google, it being the largest one, the most popular, and the market leader. So let's get into this. Okay, so we're, what we're talking about is giving Google what they want as the representative of the search engines, being the largest one and the market leader, as I've already said. Now, you probably know and you've probably heard of the Google algorithm, the Google algorithm. That is how they choose which websites are going to be shown when somebody searches for a particular keyword. And of course, what Google are interested in, and this is a good thing, is their user experience. They want it to be a good experience. They want their searchers to find exactly what they're looking for. That means that they will come to Google and Google will remain the market leader. So they've devised these various ways of looking at the sites and ranking them. And here you see to the right the three main categories for the ranking. The content of the site, so what you actually put on your website. The activity of the site, in other words, how it's used, how often, what kind of people, um, the kind of diversity of people coming and you know that it's consistent activity, that kind of thing, and also the links. Now there's a bit of history involved in this because what Google did to start with was they started by having links being the criteria. So in other words they were looking for websites that had lots of people linking to them. This was the easiest way of checking. It's quite easy to check links and they would rank the sites according to links. Then Google's AdSense program came out and this made a big difference because of course what Google wanted was to, for people to find AdSense sites and therefore they would receive an income from those sites. But what happened was that Google's market share started to go down as people were getting fed up with seeing all these spammy con AdSense sites and this is really what killed the uh, AdSense, the spammy AdSense sites where you could just throw up a site with AdSense on it with basically trash content or whatever it might be and not very cost you much time and effort and you'd get a fantastic income through Google AdSense, people clicking on the ads. I mean part of the reason might have been that the content was so bad that the, the ads actually out um, were more attractive to the users than the content on the site but that's just speculation on my part. Anyway, so that was a disaster. So they went back to linking and had a bit of a rethink. Uh, but of course they were still interested in content. 
and then last year they added this activity so they're actually looking at how the site is utilized and regarded by the public and other users so these are the three things and if you think of it it's very logical the content how the site is set up activity how people are using the site and who is linking and how they're linking to the site and are those links authority links so what I want to talk to you today is about how you would structure your linking your link building this is to get the maximum from it in terms of the time and the money that you put into it because what you could do you could go out and buy a whole load of links I was looking at a chap on the warrior forum the other day who's offering link building of various kinds some low-grade links in, in bulk some higher grade links uh, less of a quantity but obviously still a good number and there was basically I think 10 or so different ways that he would build links for you uh, costing $20 each time and you could get the full um, what would be $200 for a reduced price all the 10 different uh, forms of link building he would do for you now is it a good idea to get someone like that to to build your links well yes and no because you need the links so to actually get someone to do it for you and only cost you twenty dollars that's great but what's going to happen is if you just suddenly fire a whole load of links at your website which has got no page rank and you just put up then that's going to flag uh, to Google something suspicious it's going to look like somebody has gone out and bought a load of links and of course you don't want to do that you want it to build more naturally and of course there's lots of ways of doing this but what I want to show you is how you could still utilize a service like that which is very economic twenty dollars a time and how you can protect your site and still get a good ranking in fact Google will actually see what I'm going to show you as better than if you fired all the links directly at your page so although all the links aren't going straight to your page it's much better to do them this way and this is what I call a linking structure or a link magnet now the first thing you need to do is to go to the Google AdWords keyword tool and get some keywords so you go to that tool type in your main keyword and get yourself some keywords that you can target ones with good number of searches and lower competition that you can target for this SEO activity because what you will need is to put some content on other sites and use your keywords as your anchor text for your linking so let's um, let's get into this let's um, talk about how people have done this in the past have you heard of a link wheel if you imagine here is your your website and this is the page that you're wanting to get ranked and what somebody would do would be I'm going to just draw these as circles but obviously these, these are other web pages they would go out and perhaps to use web 2.0 properties and they would can't draw on this uh, this thing the reason for that is because um, I'm using Camtasia and the my though you can't see it that um, black pen is flashing and uh, I can't actually see it so I'm having to draw blind and what you would do is you would um, link these together in what's called a link wheel so these sites these web point 2.0 sites are all linking together uh, one one to another linking in one direction so one link to another to the next to the next and then you basically link those back to your page but the trouble is that Google can see what you're doing when you do this this structure and of course that's bad news so here is a better way of doing it this is how you want to uh, structure this to make a link magnet so let's just get rid of, of that can't see my board rubber either but uh, hopefully I don't do too much damage I can get it to uh, that's it nearly there okay let's get a different color pen now let's go for red so 
you're going to do something similar but what you're going to do is you are going to set up a premier article if I can call it that on a web 2.0 site and of course this is going to link to your website or the web page that you want to rank for for that particular term because maybe you've got a site with articles on and then you would choose a different web 2.0 site to put this article with the, with the keyword linking to that article and of course what you're going to do is pick for the, the, the red page the web 2.0 page you're going to pick something like Squidoo, Hub Pages, maybe even eZine Articles watching out for the terms but you have got a link obviously there so that, that can work quite well as it's a high page rank site something like that WordPress you go to the WordPress main site and you set up a page there they they have a high page rank blogger.com or blog.com is one that I use and so on so you want a high ranking page on which to put an article with a link to your web page or website that you want to link for and then basically you build something very similar to what I just showed you and so what you do is you build four more articles on web 2.0 sites and what you can do with these is have a spun article so you want a unique article on this page but you can have a spun article on each of these so the articles are similar but just a little bit different and then basically you link those together in the same way like this one linking to another okay so you've got linking like that okay one to another and then what you do let's just quickly change the the pen to green to show these these other links but what you want to be careful of is how you link these four because what you're going to do is obviously you're going to have a link two links on these these articles one linking to the next in the the, the wheel and also one link coming back to this main article page okay and yes you do those and you can also do whoops this one here so that links as well but not this one so that is what avoids Google being flagged that you're what you're doing now what you can do with this is you can go to the warrior forum like I've just said and you can hire somebody who will blast links at this page here and at these pages and you can go absolutely mad blasting links at this and what's going to happen is because this has a high page rank this this page here and also these pages here if you pick the right properties blogger WordPress whatever it is then they are protected because they have a high page rank and even if one of these goes down you're not too worried because your site's protected you see so you're blasting links at this and that's actually better than blasting links at your own site you might not think so because of you you're doing it by link quantity but remember that these are all passing page rank one to another so these are passing page rank and that's passing page rank to there and that's passing page rank to you and that's why those links will do you a lot of good so that's the thing to do what you could do you could hire someone to build you a squidoo lens or something like this again there's somebody on the warrior forum who's advertising to build a squidoo lens and then you could do these yourself or in fact I've actually seen a, a link magnet building service they wouldn't actually call it the link magnet but they would call it um, a linking structure but if you want to get um, if you want to get let me just give you this my, my email address down here so you want to email me at richard at terrific com, and I will give you those those links for the uh, link builder for the squidoo uh, lens builder and for the link 
magnet builder. So that is how to get really good ranking, really good links, protect your site, give Google what they want without flagging to them exactly what you're doing. Thank you very much.